who should be in your Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing Elite on Lake Pickwick before we talk about it. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button, please. Also, comment below and just say hello so I can say hello back and welcome to the team. But right now, we're going to talk about who should be in your lineup for Fantasy Fishing. Lake Fork didn't end up the way I really wanted it to end up. Uh, after day one, quite honestly, I was on fire, I felt like. But Keith Combs, Mr. Texas, just didn't show up, and it's very surprising. And uh, a couple other guys just didn't do very well. I was really surprised on it. But overall, I think I'm still in the top 88.6%, which isn't great, but... You know, there's some work to be made up. So we're going to talk about Pickwick, June 2nd through 5th. That's this. It's coming up. And we're going to talk about all of the, the groups, starting in Group E. So the favorites in Group E are going to be Kyle Welcher and Hank Cherry. Kyle Welcher is 25.9%. Hank Cherry is at 18%. Justin Atkins, who is really fighting for his life on the elite and a great angler, is at 20% too. If we look at what's happened, we're going to start off right off the bat. Justin Atkins is not a bad pick. This is his home lake. Pickwick is his home lake. But the last time he fished here, he finished in 81st. So maybe not someone... If you want a dark horse, that might not be a bad person to pick, but... Right now, I think there might be a couple people in this group that might be slightly better, and we're going to talk about it. So, Justin Atkins, 81st. Hank Cherry had a fifth place visit, fifth place finish last time he was there. Not a bad person either, and, and really, uh, Hank Cherry at 18%, a lot of people are picking him. Keith Combs has had a 95th and an 83rd. Mike Iaconelli has had two 11th place finishes, and Iaconelli has had a horrible year. I mean, questionable if he even should have come back at this point in time. That's how bad of a year he's had. Wes Logan has had a 16. Kyle Welcher had a 13th. That was in March, though. Still a very good good one. Brian Schmidt, who I just love, has had an 8th and a 35th. Kobe Krieger has had 11th, 108th, 69th, and 138th. Derek Hudnall has had a 71st. Paul Mueller has had a 50th, and Skylar Hamilton has had a 36th. Now, this is going to fish a lot different than in March. There's going to be a lot of cover. There's going to be a lot of grass on top of the water and below the water. So that's going to have a big influence on how they fish. One of those offshore and nearshore fishing tournaments. So you need to have someone that can fish both. They're expecting a lot, a lot of water. I mean a lot of water. Uh, a lot of rain to be happening so that could play a big influence on what it is and you know in my opinion as crazy as it sounds I'm taking Ike and Ellie in this in this thing two 11th place finishes when he was with Major League Fishing and other stuff that's pretty darn good so that means he knows what he's doing I can see Justin Atkins here too I can also see Schmidt too I like those three guys quite a bit, but I think I have to go with Iconelli here, and I know I'm crazy for doing it. In Group D, we have a lot of great anglers in here. The, the, the favorites are Stephen Kennedy and Brock Mosley. Both of them are well over 24% at the time of doing this. But when we look at it, Brandon Card's in this one. He had a 30th. Uh, 30th place finish there and Brandon is a TVA angler he used to live in Tennessee he's a great that this this could be considered his home water too but he's had a 30th Rick Klun in this group and this is group D had a 63rd 79th and 88th Austin Felix who I just think is amazing had an 85th and a 106 Micah Frazier has had a 27th finish Justin Hamner who I really 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 like had a 56th. Stephen Kennedy, who's one of the favorites, has had a 4th, 11th, a 59th, a 3rd, and a 148th. That's pretty darn good. Brock Mosley finished 2nd last year. 
KJ Queen had a 49th, Hunter Schreirock had a 35th, Caleb Sumrall had, had, had a 15th, and Clark Wenlet had a 60th, a uh, 127th, a 12th, a 125th, and then I think that's it. And then, of course, uh, yeah, that's the next one. In this group, I can see you taking... I can see you taking Hamner. I can see you taking Stephen Kennedy. I can see you taking Brandon Card. I'm going with Brock Mosley. A second last time he was here uh, is pretty darn good. And Brock is Brock is a great angler that fish can fish offshore and nearshore or inshore. So I really like Brock Mosley in Group D. In Group C, which again seems to be the hardest one to pick, and I don't know why. We have anglers like Todd Auten, John Cruz, Jacob Fouts, who's going to be, a lot of people are going to pick him. He is uh, a local and a great, great guide out there at one point in time. Ray Hanselman, Matt Heron, Shane LeHue, Lee Livesey, who just won. Scott Martin, who's had a lot of, a lot of, not success there, but a lot of, has fished a lot of tournaments out there. Chad Pipkins, Bernie Schultz. Uh, Josh Strachner and Jake Whitaker. Also, Clint Davis is in this one, and I think Clint Davis is one of the ones that people are not are gonna are gonna shy away from. But Clint could could do very well. This is his favorite pond, so he has had a 67th and a 37th, 62nd and a 37th. So not bad. Todd Auten has a 42nd, 31st. 50th and 9th, that's good. John Cruz has had a 34th, 38th, and 60th. That's pretty good, too. Ray Hanselman has had 17th. Matt Heron, who's had a lot, a lot of tournament experience here. 22nd, 89th, 21st, 62nd, 75th. Shane LaHue has had a 35th, 56th, and 29th. Lee Livesey has had a 28th. Scott Martin, 21st, 114th, 54th, 36th, and 38th. Chad Pipkins has had a ninth. Bernie Schultz, a 96th, 90th, and 91st. Josh Strachner has had a 23rd, and Jake Whitaker, a 91st. I think Fouts is a good pick here. I don't mind Scott Martin at this point in here, uh, but my pick here is, is Chad Pipkins. He had a good tournament last time, and uh, Chad Pipkins can do it all. He, he, can, he likes grass fishing. He does all of it well, so... Uh, I'm going to go with my boy, Chad Pipkins, in this one. In Group B, the favorites are Jason Christie, of course, Buddy Gross. Makes sense. And really, those are the only two guys over 10%. Jason is 13.7%, 13, 13 and Buddy's almost 28 at this point in time when I'm recording it. This one's an easy one, even though Blaylock is in this one, and Christie, and Fielder, and Gross, and Chris Johnson, and Kenta Kamira. Bill Lowen, Brian New, Brian New, I love saying that guy's name, Matt Robertson, Chris Zaldane, and Joseph Webster, who is his home pond, and is not a bad, like, dark horse in this one, because not many people are going to know that's his favorite place to fish. It's his favorite place to fish. Blaylock has had a 40th, a 16th, a 63rd, and 39th. Jason Christie has had a 32nd, 49th, and 20th. Seth Fielder has had a 25th. Buddy Gross has a 10th and a 1st. Now, and Buddy Gross loves TVA fishing. Loves loves all those those ponds and lakes up there. It's and that's his home waters. Chris Johnston 24th and 61st. Kenta Kamir has a 54th. Bill Lowen has a 1st, a 31st, and a 10th. That's pretty damn good. Brian New has a 19th. Matt Robertson has a 77th and Chris Saldane has a 31st. I can see a lot of people taking Bill Lowen. I can also see a lot of people taking Jason Christie. And I can see him taking Seth Fielder, too, here. But Buddy Gross is the favorite here. And there's a reason why he's 28% when I'm filming this. Buddy Gross loves this type of fishing. He can do inshore, nearshore. This is his home waters. This is a guy that is that shouldn't be in Group A. He should be in Group B. And he should be that he is the favorite, and he should be the favorite because there's a good chance he's going to win this whole thing. So while we're sticking to Group B, there's one person you need to know, and you might not know about it. Joseph Webster is home pond and his favorite pond. And while he is not one of the guys that is getting a lot of recognition or has a really good chance of odds-on favorite to win at four percent, Joseph Webster here is not a bad pick either. He could be that dark horse in this group. 
And finally, group A. Wow, this one is another good one. David Mullins is a favorite at 14, almost 15%. Brandon Palinick is at 30, 32%. And Gerald Swindle's at 12% almost. Uh, there's great anglers in this row. Drew, Drew Benton's in this one. He's had a 47th and a 57th. Scott Scan Canterbury has had a 57th, 13th, 114th, and 14th. Brandon Cobb has had a 76th and 80th. John Cox, my boy, a 7th, 79th, 21st, 65th, and 75th. Greg Hackney, 52nd, 1st, 6th, and 28th. Not bad. Corey Johnson has had a third and a 105th. Caleb Cubhull has had a 68th. David Mullins, who I just think is just crushing it right now, has had an 18th. Brian Lester has had a 14th place. Brandon Palinick has had a 7th and a 30th. Jacob Prosnick has had a 21st and a 22nd. Gerald Swindle has had an 83rd, 25th, and 68th. And Patrick Walters, who just dominated at the NPFL, which is a whole other story that we could all talk about, had a 12th. This one, there's a couple guys that I think you can take. I think David Mullins is a good pick here because he's just fishing that well. David Mullins has had... Uh, They've had six tournaments. He's made all six in the top 50. He's made five of those have been in the top 35. And then three of those have been in the top 10. David Mullins is on fire right now. He's fishing spectacular. I can see you taking David Mullins here. I know a lot of people are going to take uh, Gerald Swindle here too. This is kind of in his wheelhouse, but he just hasn't, in my opinion, he just hasn't lived up to it on this. That 83rd is really, that one hurts. Patrick Walters just coming off NPFL and a 12th place finish last time. I could see Patrick building off, build the, building the momentum of the NPFL and coming into this one and just putting it down because his electronics game is on fire. But I'm taking the favorite on this one. I'm taking my boy Brandon Palinick in this one. I think Brandon's dialed in, knows how to fish this, fishes Fish Lake Fork well. I think Brandon Palinick, Brandon is Angler of the Year. I think this is his year. I love everything he's done this year. He's in second place right now in Angler of the Year points behind John Cox. And I think this is where he overtakes and, and puts some distance in the Angler of the Year. Not that I wouldn't mind John Cox winning either, but I think this is Brandon Palinick's place. So in terms of tiebreaker, I don't think this is going to be Lake Fork. I think they're going to do really well, but I think I'm going to go about 85-4, and that's what I'm putting down. So there it is. Fantasy Fishing, Pickwick, Bassmaster Elites. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Tell me who you put in your lineup. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We'll see you all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe to your own kids fishing.